Welcome back. Now, it offers finalists an opportunity to share their knowledge and beauty through volunteer work fair and honest competition. Well, that's the Miss South African National Beauty Pageant, which is a national pageant uh, company uh, designed to offer women who are either single, engaged, divorced or widowed between the ages of 25 and 55 an opportunity to share their knowledge and beauty through volunteer work fair and honest competition. Now, tell us more about this. We're joined by Debuho Mujaji Kekan, who's the National Director of Miss South Africa National pageant good morning welcome to morning live thanks for having me Lebo. all right let's talk about this beauty pageant how what it makes it different or unique uh, uh, the difference is that we have created a national platform to the women of South Africa, giving them the opportunity, you know. Uh, we are not saying because of your title, not being married, div being divorced and stuff like that, you are not entitled to enter any pageant. Mm -hmm. So this is the right platform for those ladies who were disadvantaged before. Why the decision to go this route though? What inspired this uh, uh, pageant? Okay, I personally love uh, pageantry itself yeah. because I've entered uh, many competitions while I was still in primary school and high school. And I also entered a couple of um, the Mrs. pageants. And after that, I realized because you will walk in the street and people ask you, D don't you have a pageant for mm. the unmarried? And you find that the person is over 23 years to be entering the other pageant, the MISS uh, mm. South Africa pageant. So I did my research and I, uh, you know, I found out that there is a demand in this um, uh, platform that we have created and you know what 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 is who is it aimed at and you know what are the requirements somebody's listening to this conversation yes. wants to be part of this uh, how do they get a hold of you what are the requirements okay the requirements is uh, okay everybody who enters the pageant they must enter with the knowledge that you know um, th this is a non swimwear pageant okay yes and you you must be between the ages of 25 and 55 right. to be able to enter. Your marital status, it doesn't uh, matter to yeah. us. Yes. Let's talk about the plus size. Oh, yes, that's very... <laughs> it actually overpowers this other one. And the demand is quite high in, 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 in our country. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's something that actually excites me because it also gives uh, you know, the, the plus size women who are confident into entering pageants. So it gives them an, an opportunity to also explore their beauty through uh, the correct platform as well. Talk to us about details. How do yes. people get a hold of you? Um, they can contact us on uh, at www.mssouthafricanational.co.za or at 12 2709 What do you say to people who say pageants are just, you know, glorifying what the world sees and what, what not real women look like? Uh, you know, education is very important, especially in pageantry. Like you say that people see it as a glorified platform. Mm. Uh, it's actually not that way. We create many pageants create the platform to actually, you, you know, give it in a way that you actually give back to your community, because you get involved in charity organizations and fundraisings and stuff like that. All right, so it's not just for the beauty. <laughs> All right, All right. thank you so much for talking to us. Thank uh, you so much. is the national director of. Uh, Miss South African National Pageant, as well as Miss Plus Size South Africa, which offers finalists an opportunity uh, to share their knowledge and beauty through volunteer work, fair and honest competition. Well, let's say a very good morning to Fifi Cooper. You must see me tomorrow, kill or real and no more. Get a fella, fella, the racing, the kids. My truck has a toilet. Tell me, can you see that? Little limitless to a rail. Oh, bicycle is a robber. Mountain has a go bear. Need to be somewhere. Need to reach my destiny. And they get up on a keep out. Got it, what's up? Got it, what's up? Got the H next time he had delay. Take it to me like Jack as a book of loading And my way, you will let me lay 
Enneke baba na kere kipa kipa Kari watoto Kari watoto Kati ish next time we head in le Banyana by head Jinze kita mela jaka te boko lodi And my way Yeah yeah Hata tilin tabela Kita du la kira bela Chaka vila hula buha Kuri toro dia koroha Hata tilin tabela Kitu ane te hupa tema Sama hala di gefela Lidi pampiri di tuela Isura penele di kiti ya lot Na kita bata kutu ya mo Kitura penele di kiti ya lot You might see me tomorrow Get a real and no more Engulfed in crises That's how the United Front see South Africa. This South Africa is not one of our dreams. It is not the country we deserve and demand. This South Africa is not meeting the needs of its young people. Our President Jacob Zuma said ESCOM's woes are a challenge but not a crisis. We have a plan to deal with the matter and it's a, it's a, it's a good plan when we can say we have a crisis. Now we have a challenge and we've got a solution. That's Business News, weekdays at 6 p.m. on SABC News. SABC News seeks to be the biggest, the most extensive and diverse news organization on the continent. Our mission is to provide accurate and credible news and current affairs programming throughout the day. We are committed to covering every part of the continent. We reflect the world to Africa and Africa to the world. SABC News, Africa's news leader, now available throughout the continent. Street culture is most definitely defined through one's individual style, be it through music, lifestyle and fashion. Live Magazine has been in existence since 2010. It is a youth-run media channel covering a range of topics from fashion, politics, we need, and there's a huge gap in South Africa, skilled museum personnel, such as collections manager, restorers. That is a gap. Pattern of contact includes the 14th century Chinese world map. This is one of the oldest surviving world maps titled Da Ming Hun Yi Tu. Join Musam Kalipi on Afro Showbiz every Saturday at 1930 CAT.